Rustest is an open source remote desktop software that can run across all major platforms Windows, Linux, Mac OS, Android and iOS. What's good about it? It, it can serve as both client and server for you. This makes the process of using it a lot simpler since you'll be using it on your main PC and your remote machine. It is an easy to use and does not require much configuration to get started. Let me show you how we can get started. Look for Rustdesk or openrustdesk.com. So you will see here an open source virtual remote desktop infrastructure for everyone. So it is in fact an alternative to the team viewer and it can be an alternative for any desk. Though any desk is also good, but this is an open source and fully secure software. We can install it on Windows, Apple, Android, iOS, and Linux. Though their public server is also available, but if you want to host your own server so you can download and install it on your own server to have a better network and higher security, they will provide an open source free server program. So you can click on download and you can install your own server. Usually you will need to provide a user support on any platform. Rust Desk is available on all these platforms. And you can see here that either you can provide the remote desktop support to the users through your smartphone or even smartphone support can also be given. So what it says that it is secure, fast and simple. End-to-end -end encryption is there. Self-hosted solution is also available, which will give an enterprise to have better control on their devices and security. You can have the track of all the access and permissions it is lightweight. There is no administrator privileges for the installation needed. There is a good community support available. So you can see GitHub, seven repositories are available. So we will be using Rust Desk for the client and Rust Desk as a server. Right now, I'll be showing you how we can install it as a client. Now the software is installed. I have another computer available right now. So I'll be just accessing it. So either I can enter the password or I will get a window there to accept the connection request. The way we use to get the accept request in TeamViewer or AnyDesk. And now you can see here I'm able to access another computer from here. If you mouse over here, you will be able to do various operations like if you want to shrink the screen or see the original screen or stretch the screen, you can reduce the screen size and close it here. You can see you had created the session with this particular computer and you can see here you can even connect transfer the files or do the rdp and change the name i'll be just connecting it from another computer now so i'll be getting a message here person is trying to connect so i'll accept it the moment i accept now i'm able to control it using another computer so i can see who is connected and what permissions i can give whether i want to give the file transfer permission i want to give speaker permission i want to give the copy permission or simply remote connection. And this is very simple and easy to use. Anyone can use it even if with little computer knowledge, they can do it. So I'll just disconnect it here. Now all the sessions that I'll be having will be available here. So I can add this into favorite if there are multiple connections. So we can add it to favorite. Now it will be available in, in favorite. And through web also, you can go to web.rustest.com and you can access the computer with the device ID. So the moment I accept it, within the web browser, you will be able to access the computer. I will try to now access the Android phone using Rust Desk. Open the Android Play Store. I look for Rust Desk. Open the software. The remote ID, similarly, I'll just enter the remote ID of my computer. And here I am now accessing it here. I can shrink the screen so I can zoom in and zoom out depending upon how I want to access it. So I'll simply rotate the screen now so that I can show you how it will look like, stretch the screen. So all the remote support can be provided from here. So minimize this, complete desktop you can see here, you are looking at with both the fingers, I can zoom in and zoom out. Now I'll be able to access it on my computer. So I'll be entering that device ID. Now my smartphone access is available on my computer where I can control everything on my smartphone. You will need to open the system settings to give the control access as well. So here is accessibility. I'll be going to installed apps. And from here, I will be choosing Rust Desk Input and I'll turn on the service here, allow and input shortcuts allow. Got it. If I go here, now you can see input control service is on. And now I'll be able to control it using mouse. If I click on mouse, I'm able to control my smartphone using the computer or remotely I'm able to access it and give the service. If I open anything here, you can see here. So in case you want to. 
so we have seen it that we can even control the smartphone as well as we can have uh, the control of remote desktop so this was how we have installed the software and we were able to connect two sessions are saved here i can now again connect to these sessions by simply clicking this and this will give me access to those systems so you can see that rust desk is one of the best systems right now available i have used many systems but i believe Rust Desk is what I was really looking for. For self-hosted, it gives you step-by-step -step installation guide here, how you can install the server, how you can start giving the access and how you can install Docker and how you can compose your custom Docker image. So all this is available. If you want to know what is Docker, I have provided the Docker video in the description. On GitHub, you can see there are seven repositories available. And good thing here that I want to show you is the contribution over last year, you can see here, how the contribution is changing. If we go back to 2020, since then you can see how fast uh, Rust Desk is growing. So in 2020, this was launched probably on one contribution to eight contributions. And now you can see it is continuously growing since March 2021. And you can see now in 2022. So there are many contributors contributing to this particular platform. So I'm sure this platform is going to grow further and it is going to solve various problems and various issues. And I'll be also com contributing to this particular system. I'm going to use Rust Desk in my production environment, in an enterprise also, and for personal use as well. If you have not yet subscribed to the channel, subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon and get all the notifications because whenever I upload any video, you will get the notification immediately. So, and if you want to support this channel in a better way, you can click on join. So see you in next video. Till then, take care and goodbye.